you know, you manage, you know, singles wrestlers, tag teams. I mean, to me, you know, you and the Midnight Express, that, that's just the first thing that comes to my mind when, when I think of Midnight or you. Uh, but and speaking about tag teams, as you've been around so many of them, uh, taking, obviously, taking Midnight Express out of the equation, who are some of your favorite tag teams that you either enjoyed working with or just watching as a pure fan? Oh God! Well, working with obviously the Rock and Roll, obviously the I love the Rock and Roll Express. I love the Fantastics too. You know, and I mean the Rock and Roll. You could start a riot because Ricky Morton could sell to the point where, and also when he would sweat, and the sweat would be running down his face, and he got that pained look on his face. It looked like he was crying. Yeah. And he would reach out to the people in the front row and he, and it, with his hand, and he would mouth the words "Help me," and they would. And he was a good and looking. I, he, was, he was a good looking guy, and he was just he, he could he could really place himself and and, a, and be, he could be very vulnerable, as yeah. fiery as he was, because they both had great fire, but Ricky. He could sell his ass off. Yes, and that's you know that's become a phrase, selling like Ricky Morton. Yep. You know, and and so the rock and roll and 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 the Fantastics and the Road Warriors and Tully and Arn yeah. and those guys were great to work with. Um, as far as who I liked watching, um, you know, I didn't get a chance to see them live in person, but I've I've seen films. Stevens and Bockwinkle to me were fantastic. Ray Stevens and Nick Bockwinkle in the AWA. I always enjoyed one of my favorite tag teams and actually a, a team that nobody really remembers because they were always on, on top in main events in Tennessee. Back in the 70s, Tennessee was three different territories. It was the Memphis end for Jerry Jarrett. It was the Middle Tennessee Territory for Nick Goulas, and it was the East Tennessee Territory for the Fuller Southeastern Wrestling. And Phil Hickerson and Dennis Condry were my favorite heel tag team to watch. Phil was an old redneck, pot-bellied fucking guy that could cut a heck of a promo and threw a mean fist, but he could move. And Dennis was his, you know, his, his, his younger and, and smaller partner, but they meshed perfectly and they just, they spent about five years rotating between those three Tennessee territories, always main eventing, but they had great matches with everybody. Loved watching them. I was always big on the heel teams when I was a kid, anywhere from Kurt and Carl Von Brauner to the interns with Ken Ramey to, you know, it, it, Don and Al Green, the original Heavenly Bodies. Tennessee was a tag team territory, so there were just, you know, oodles of tag teams. The Valiant Brothers, I was always a mark for yeah. because, you know, the bleach blonde, yeah. hoo-ha, woo, Missy, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and, and they worked for Bruiser and I got a chance to see them, but just, you know, any great tag team that traveled together with each other and went from territory to territory and really had experience. I, I enjoyed tag team wrestling and, and you talk, I, I guess 